Hello and welcome. I'll be showing you my new build for my game Desert Throne, which will be loading up in a second. So, as you can see, the main menu is the same. Sandbox has tutorial, doorways, and level selection now. So, there's been some rearrangement. Now if we go and play game, you'll notice some major changes. So first of all, the area is different. You can see our stamina gauge is engaged. When the enemies are so they're actually shooting at you now. But you can see all of the structure is different. We also have these new pillars, which I'll be showing you soon. So these are the new pillars that I have recently implemented. We have the new textures up and running, these lovely new pillars. Even all of this been reworked and adjusted. The ground texture does of course need some work. Reload's still the same. I still don't die as of yet, but you can actually strafe now. And their health is hidden. So you can actually strafe left and right, so that way adds a bit more protection. You still don't die as of yet. But there will be a health regen system soon. So all of this area is completely different. You can see it's a lot more better structured. It's nicer texture, even the statues look nicer. But we go in here and currently in here is still the same. So I won't worry about showing much else in here for the moment. So you can probably see that the enemies have like a particle now that they're shooting towards you as well. It just makes it feel like a lot more, adds more realism. And they'll keep on following you. So they don't stop following you now until you actually get out of their range. So they're pretty quick as well. I set them to be a lot faster so that you are essentially forced to leave and defend yourself. But you'll see they, they just keep shooting but we still have like the similar designs as you can see with some subtle differences. Now if we go back to our main menu in our sandbox we have our tutorial first of all so you can see there's there's not much difference in here the ground is still just a plain grey texture for the moment so you press F for your flashlight. And Z allows you to interact to open the door. So spacebar will allow you to jump. Press spacebar again for double jump. So it's just teaching you the base mechanics. And I should have left shift for sprint, but should be a bounding box which just resets you. But we will set a respawner soon. So for the moment, it's just pretty simple. So Z Yes, I know it looks difficult, but 
you can make it through. I don't know why you slid then. Okay, here we go. So press escape to pause, as shown earlier. And we have our little enemy. So press R to reload. Pickups can grant bonuses. Currently they do not grant bonuses. But you can see this is our sort of base tutorial area. So Z to interact again. So we've got our cover here. And that seems to be all for now, but you go here and you are now in the Desert Throne level, which is your main level. So if we go into doorways, you'll see that like there's been some subtle changes here. Like just not very big ones. It's more to get you to to look around more. So all of this is still the exact same. We'll open this. Now there's some more defense walls structured in here. So all in here has been slightly adjusted. As you can see, For some weird reason, these ones are just a little bit broken. Oh, so I just need to bring them up a little bit and then they'll work fine. But if we go to level selection, so you can see it is slightly different. The textures don't seem to have come through properly, which is quite interesting and strange. But I will be correcting this in the next build. So hidden exit. So you probably recall this area from earlier. We have a door here. some brokenness with the doors but that's okay but we got these new slight designs for these rooms as you can see so that should not be working so that is another slight bug there but that's okay but you go through here you see enemy there all of this as well so whole new area so we'll go back through here we will be adding pickups for health and everything but if we go through here so it's the same door bit of a bug there for a second let there be light so this is our old area if you recall there's no changes to this room as of yet just the fact of it being renamed to let there be light 
So we have these nice little text and everything now. But if you want to go into the sandbox level, you actually go to sandbox now and you're in the sandbox level. So I'm not quite sure if I've actually set a bounding box for this one to transport you back. From the looks of it, I have not. So we'll go back to main menu, level selection. We'll start heading towards the realm of the forgotten. So tab let you switch the weapon, but at the moment, of course, doesn't switch the weapon. So that will be getting worked on. And the textures just aren't seeming to want to come through, which is quite strange, but I will correct this in the next build. But you can see like there has been retextures, but the retextures haven't quite come through. So we just need to adjust their look at direction. So they'll keep looking at us and they'll go bang, 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 shoot us when we jump up. So for instance, if we're up on objects like this, Sorry, bit buggy. So, if you're standing on here, they can't hurt you at the moment. But you saw I just picked up all of these ragtag enemies. You can sort of see their little flashy colors for the moment. And if we go to our controls now, we have also updated the little control section, so it's a bit more pretty. So we will need to reconfigure the main menu and go back button. However, everything is going well. Mm -hmm. 